Google just released their new AI image generation model. Is it any good? Should those of us in real estate use it? And most importantly, what the heck does it have to do with bananas? I'm Kyle Stroshine from the Marketing Club by The Paperless Agent, where we make AI practical and profitable for real estate professionals. Now today I'm going to be diving into Google's latest image generation model, codenamed Nano Banana. I'm gonna be showing you how to do things like stage your listings, adjust landscaping, edit photos, create professional headshots, and even create really high quality marketing materials, all with very general text-to-image prompts. Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, codenamed Nano Banana, is Google's latest AI image generation update built into their Gemini platform. Now, what makes this update such a big deal is that Google's really focused on the editing side of image generation. So instead of Photoshop, instead of very expensive designers, you can now do things with images simply by using your natural language prompts. Now, this new model sort of has three key functionalities that make it so good for image editing. The first is that will maintain your likeness. So if you upload your image and you want to use it in some marketing materials, it will look like you. The second is that it understands context incredibly well. You want to remove blinds from a photo? You can just tell it to do that. It knows what the blinds are. And the third is that it maintains the photorealism and the integrity of the initial photos that you give it. So you can give it a photo of a room and it's not going to try to change key features. It's not going to rearrange the room, expand the square footage, any of that kind of stuff. All of which make it an incredibly effective tool for doing things like staging or creating marketing materials or even updating our headshots. Now real quick before we get hands on, Google has actually released a prompting guide that I have pulled up on the screen here and I'll include in the show notes but if you're looking to do things like generate an image update an image combine images you can see they put together an actual prompting guide with best practices on how you would phrase the prompts and get the results that you're looking for now let's see what this looks like in action well I don't know about you but when I first heard about its image editing capabilities the first thing that came to mind was virtual staging so let's take a look at that and see what we can do with some photos I've taken recently here I have open Google's AI studio where you can actually play around with this new image generation model. I'm gonna click try nano banana and then I'm actually going to add an image of my own house pre-renovations or in the middle of renovations. So you can see that it's garishly pink. There's a lot of construction in the front yard where we had to pull up some piping and sewer lines and things. Let's see what we can do with this image to make it look better, make it look like something that we could potentially show. First things first, I want to change the color. So let's say uh, change the color of this house to a green gray. Make sure the stone siding matches the new color. And we'll hit run. Pretty good, not bad. Now what can we do with the front yard which is also in shambles? Let's say make the front yard look like a freshly laid green manicured lawn. And wow, there you go. Here's the updated photo. On the whole, it's kept the square footage, it's kept the neighbor's house, it's kept to the side yard. All of that stuff is exactly the same. It's just made the changes that we requested of it. Okay, now that we see how it handles the outside of a home and some light landscaping, let's see how it can do with the inside of a home and virtually stage a room. So here I have a photo from a recent listing that was empty and we need to add some virtual staging for. So let's start with something simple. Let's see if we can remove those curtains from this room. I'm just gonna give it a simple prompt. Remove the curtains from the windows. Great, and there you go. Uh, curtain successfully removed. Now let's take this one step further and ask it to actually add the furniture to the room. Now to add furniture to this room, I'm actually going to take the prompt template that Google provides and edit it and see what kind of results we get using their provided prompt. And their prompt is using the provided image of a primary suite, please add modern, tasteful furniture to the scene. Ensure that the change is welcome. Ensure that the change is welcoming, inviting, and a warm bedroom to come home to. I'm just gonna add, do not change any original layout or elements. Run. And here we have our virtually staged room. You can see it's kept the elements exactly the same. It's maintained context, but it has successfully added in a bed, a rug. It's even added in like a different textured rug over the current carpet that's in there. Um, a nice chair lamp. I think it's done a great job with the perspective, the editing, the actual size placement of this. 
better than the original virtual staging we ended up going with, so this one gets an A plus for me. Now the next thing this image model boasts is the ability to maintain faces and characters between different image edits. So let's take a common use case, which is we all need a professional headshot, right? I'm gonna take a screenshot of myself doing this video recording right now and upload it. Uh, I'm just gonna say, create a professional headshot of uh, featuring the person in this photo. And let's put me in a suit and put this person in a suit and run. Okay, 10 seconds later and we have an image back. Now, I'm actually very impressed by this. If you've tried to do this with any of the other image models out there, your face is never the same, it gets a little funky. Here it's actually done a very good job of maintaining it. Now, if I were to give it a slightly better quality photo, not just a screenshot, I'm sure it could do an even better job, but I'm pretty happy with that given the five seconds it took me to put it together. Okay, now let's see what we can do editing some marketing materials with this tool. Here I've uploaded the headshot we created in the last example with a recent social media post that we designed and created. I want to see if I can add my headshot to the bottom left of that image. Okay, now for this prompt, I'm just going to say, add the headshot of the person in the first image to the bottom left-hand side of the social media post. Remove the background of the headshot. And let's see how it does with that. And there you go. A few seconds later, and this social media post has been customized with the headshot that we generated. So now we're starting to create some custom marketing materials. If you're a member of the marketing club then you know we provide you with marketing materials every month and this gives you a quick and easy way to add some extra personalization to all of those marketing materials so did image editing in gemini get a major upgrade from the testing we just did and from the stuff i've done outside of this i have to say yes i'm very impressed with the results i think you can see that from all the photos that we tried to edit most of them came out very good and like it promises held fidelity to the original photos. If you want more practical AI strategies like this, go ahead and like the video, comment, subscribe so you stay up to date and get notified for the AI videos we release every week.